Hello and welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. As you can see by the title of today's video, it's all about Angry Gun and whether they really do have a problem with their QC or not. Um, I'm leaning towards, yeah, they have a problem with their QC. Um, <laughs> the reason for this video is I've actually, um, I actually broke my original Tokyo Marie MWS magazine catch here and yeah, very sad. It kind of just ended up snapping. I think it's probably had thousands and thousands of magazines inserted. Sorry, that was a, a scope almost uh, rolling off my desk there. Um, it's had thousands and thousands of magazines put through it. So yeah, it's eventually these sort of things may may happen. So I was like, you know what? Let's just uh, let's upgrade it for a steel one. Uh, so had a quick look around. There are a couple of manufacturers that make them. Uh, there's the T8 ones, and so far I've been quite impressed with what I've seen from T8 so far, uh, but it was a little bit more expensive. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to cheap out, I'm going to get an Angry Gun one, and I now regret that decision uh, wholeheartedly. <laughs> so um, I thought it would at least be worth making a video to explain to you guys like why this is such a bad product. Um, so it's, uh, it's advertised as being all steel and that you would assume from that that there's extra strength in that and that it's going to be probably an upgrade to the original part and bear in mind the original one I've had for maybe like five or six years since the day that the NWS came out pretty much um, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem with it so I'm not like upset that it's broken I'm kind of almost expected it to happen at some point um, so yeah got myself an angry gun steel one what I didn't expect though is uh, that um, the fact that they haven't managed to securely attach this straight out of the factory, um, this is like pretty much the only thing that you would even be checking on QC. Uh, are these are these two bits permanently attached into one another because they need to be? This is the original Tokyo Marie one, so the actual uh, part here has broken off. So if we can hold them up, you can see that the actual flat bit has uh, has snapped off. But still, this is completely solid and there is no moving. Like, that's... Com Unlike the upgraded part, which just pulls apart. Like, this is really disappointing. This, um, for me, Angry Gun shouldn't be making uh, little mistakes like that. And it is, unfortunately, things like that that have led to Angry Gun having a bit of a reputation for being quite, like, hit and miss with their quality control. And I must say, I have seen that over the years. Um, sometimes the products that they come out with are very good. Uh, sometimes they are not very good. However, the real problem here is that someone else may buy this and install it into their gun and have absolutely no issue whatsoever. And it may be solid as a rock, but then the next one that comes out just falls apart. Now, yeah, this is something that Angry Gun probably do need to address. and. This is just a bit of a warning out to the community, to anyone that doesn't know or anyone that's a bit newer to MWS stuff. When you're looking at Angry Gun, um, it is often a cheaper option, but actually a lot of the time their stuff doesn't actually work as well as it should. And sometimes, quite often, you can end up with a, a disappointing end user experience. So, yeah. I, it's really annoying and I've said it before on here as well and so I'm not really following my own advice but you know buy cheap buy twice it's still not cheap you know coming in at sort of 20 to 25 pounds uh, for that kind of upgrade you would expect it to be um, you'd expect that they would have taken the time and the care and attention to make sure that they were putting a quality product out so really disappointing there from Angry Gun and if they want their reputation to turn around and be known as like one of the best manufacturers then things like this can't really happen anymore. So, yeah, please uh, do beware when you're uh, do be wary when you're buying Angry Gun products. Yeah, they can be good, they can be bad. You take your chance. Ultimately, um, I would probably say anything uh, that's a single piece of metal that hasn't had any anything else done to it, maybe like a flash hider or something like that. You're probably going to get away with it being fine. Um, if it's something a bit more intricate where they've literally had to attach two things together um, and just kind of glue it then they failed with that and that's sort of something really basic so um, disappointing um, but I thought I would bring it to you I think it's important to highlight 
um, bad experience as well as good experiences and that's going to lead people to spend their money more wisely so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this hopefully you found it useful um, and yeah hopefully I'll see you in the next video so take care